Hey, yo, stop the beat a minute. Hold up. Ryan Garcia says, Errol Spence is an easier fight than Devin Haney, and he'll fight him virtually at whatever way he wants. Would you go to 154 for that? Whatever way you want. It's an easier fight than Devin Haney. I'm going to knock Errol Spence out within three rounds. You heard it. You heard it. Push the button. Push the got button. Listen, Ryan Garcia, he beat Devin Haney. Then he popped dirty. We're in the middle of that. Ryan is full of confidence. Ryan is talking about everybody else. He's at the club making club appearances. He's going on spaces. You would just believe he's on his victory lap still. And despite the positive test for Osterine, I'm still working on the deep dive video. Shout out to everybody. Be patient. I'm one person. And boxing has just almost been a mess. There's a lot of stuff going on. And it's all at one time. So bear with me. I'm trying to get all the content out for you guys. The best thing you guys can do is if you got any value from any of my content, you know, hit the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. Subscribe if you would like. So regarding Errol Spence and Ryan Garcia, I'm definitely skeptical on if this fight would even happen. That's for sure. Errol looks like he's moving up to 154. Although you heard Ryan Garcia, he says he will fight him at 54. And he even tweeted that he would even fight him at 160. I made a video yesterday about that. I'm still skeptical. There's also inherent differences with Ryan Garcia and him being on DAZN, Errol Spence being tethered to PBC, who has a deal with Amazon Prime. And more importantly, Ryan Garcia is not in the clear with his B sample. So we still have to see what happens there. But I don't normally like to do this, but a lot of people are asking me about it. I do think it would be a big fight. Ryan is definitely turn heel he's almost having fun and, and being the villain of boxing so it certainly would be a big fight and he's up to his trash talk game he's in his full villain arc errol spence much more laid back hey stop that cat yeah definitely i'll fight him you know and errol if prompted will respond with the trash talk but ryan He's he's on his full WWE, so it would be a big fight. Errol Spence, being from Texas, he got AT&T Stadium right there in Arlington. I've covered Errol Spence when he fought Mikey Garcia in that stadium, and that was big. And Mikey Garcia is kind of a quiet dude, similar to Errol Spence, so that didn't have much of a buildup in terms of just the usual preliminary stuff. There wasn't this, like, vitriol and venom and pushing each other it wasn't like that because both guys again if they're not pushed they're pretty low-key and chill they just come to fight but with ryan garcia it, who knows it would be crazy but first ryan he definitely got to get out the woods with his current situation so until that happens i'm not going to really go too deep into wasting my breath because if you notice i'm very efficient on my channel Everything, every movement, every video is with purpose. I don't like wasted energy. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. Very efficient, well-oiled machine over here. And it just doesn't make sense to overly talk about something. And what if Ryan gets suspended? You know, so we have to see how this situation plays out. I will keep you guys updated if more things happen, but it would be a big fight. My initial, what I am willing to say is it would be a big fight. Great backstory. Ryan's working with Errol Spence's old trainer. So that would be the first time he's slated to go against his old trainer. His trainer would have to get and cook up a game plan. I mean, I don't even know if Derek James would even do that. Like Derek James is also a low key dude. So I don't know how he would even feel about that. So do I think the fight will happen, especially next? Absolutely not. But I will say if it did happen, 
It'd be fun.